Welcome to another DoBlue.com video review. This one rather obviously focusing on the 40 year evolution Planet of the Apes Blu-ray box set. This one comes from Fox. This includes the original five films in this series. The Tim Burton remake, redo, whatever you want to call it, uh, is not included here. That is available separately on Blu-ray. Um, all five films that are in this set are actually available separately as well. So if you want to just pick up the original or maybe one or two of your, the sequels that you enjoyed, you can do that. Um, if you want to forget Beneath Planet of the Apes ever happened, you can do that too. Um, but a true apes geek, I'm sure, is going to go for all five films. Uh, the TV series is not included in here. A DVD box set, which came inside a bust of Caesar's head. A uh, really cool DVD box set. That included the TV series. Uh, I don't believe the animated series is in there. I do not have it for comparison, unfortunately. Um, but the Blu-ray set, specifically, just the original five films. Uh, obviously, on the front, we have a nice shot of Roddy McDowell inside the makeup. Uh, the ship Charlton Heston crashed in on the Planet of the Apes. Let me flip it over. Uh, you get pretty much nothing on the back. Just a little note about foxhome.com. Uh, this is the liner. Uh, this basically shows you each individual film specs. Each film, uh, AVC encode with DTS HD 5.1 audio and a compressed mono mix. Uh, obviously just a rundown of what is included in here before you bought it. Uh, and a brief little synopsis of each film. Uh, that's pretty much it. Back of that is just the uh, security stickers. That out of the way, we will open this up. And this just sort of exists on its own. Uh, not a whole lot there to really say. <clears throat> this is a great shot of most of the major apes from the series. Uh, really nice portrait shot there. I really do enjoy that. The side of it. Planet of the Apes. Pretty nice so you can set it on a shelf sideways. Really can't set it vertically anyway because all you really see is a book. Even with the uh, outer casing, it's it's there's nothing there. Um, side of that also says Planet of the Apes. So... Opening this up, this one is not going to fit on camera. Uh, it is too wide, so I'm going to do what I can here and kind of pan it across the frame. Uh, once you open it up, you get a timeline, uh, alternate and apparently the original timeline. I honestly, even as an apes geek, I'm not sure what the difference is. I kind of thought all the movies fall, fell together, um, at least somewhat. Uh, TV series is not included in here either. Um, so this is just the timeline of the movies. It starts in uh, 1972, that of course when Charlton Heston and crew took off on the ship and eventually ended way, way into the future when apes took over the planet. And it ends rather abruptly in 3955 when Charlton Heston blew up the world. Uh, each one has a small little note about what happened in that year, whatever it may be. I'm trying to get as much of that as I can on camera and hopefully you can read that. Uh, 1992, uh, revolution occurred, that of course being a conquest of Planet of the Apes. So, pretty nice rundown. You open this flap up, and you get this. It looks exactly the same as the outer box, you would be correct, but this is not the same. This is tightly in a cardboard sleeve. Um, not particularly sturdy, but it holds it. Uh, this is a hardcover book. Uh, same title as the box set itself, written by Lee Pfeiffer and David Worrell. Um, interestingly enough, most of the text in here is good. I mean, it's good information, um, but it is mostly contained also in this. This is not a part of the box set. This is just something I happen to have on hand. Uh, this is the definitive book on Planet of the Apes. Most of the text in this is in this, but this and this are by totally different authors. Um, I don't know how that all works out. I, I the rights. I'm not not saying they plagiarized it. Maybe, maybe the information is just the same. Maybe, I haven't really sat down and looked and said, hey, yeah, these are the exact words. I'm just saying it's really, really similar when you're reading it. Um, I actually read this first and then I picked up Revisited. And as I'm reading Revisited, I'm like, I've read this before. Uh, so interesting. I don't really know what to say on that one. Uh, this is a fairly thick book. Not the thickest in the world, but it's on a very nice cardstock. This is a hardcover book. Um, it goes through each individual film. Certain shots are glossy. This one is uh, is just a little bit. Um, this one is very... These portraits here are glossy. This background shot is not... I don't know why some are and some aren't. Um, the text, for the most part, is decent. Um, it's basic info, when it was shot, how it was shot, budget constraints, what, why the studio made the sequel. Um, it's pretty thick. Um, got a lot of nice behind-the-scenes shots. 
Ricardo Montalban there in uh, Conquest of Planet of the Apes. Uh, it's not a bad book, again. Um, I'm certainly not disappointed by it. Uh, at the end of it, there is mention of the Tim Burton one. I just dropped part of that box, if that's what you're wondering what that noise was. Um, of course, the animated series. It gets into uh, collectibles and specs and props and all kinds of stuff like that. Not, not extensively. The main focus is still on the uh, movies itself. Uh, nearly 200 pages long, so you really can't argue with that, especially as a freebie. Um, lots of nice shots of gun props there. Back of the book, same shot as in the uh, back of the Blu-ray case itself. We're going to throw that to the side for the time being and talk about the problem with this box set, which are the discs. <coughs> they are obviously flat against this cardboard. Um, over here, briefly, uh, these are a listing of the special features that are on each disc. Um, you can read the full reviews on dublue.com. We'll plug that early. Um, each one basically gets at least one feature at uh, trailers, a uh, bunch of still gallery stuff like that. The original gets it gets a whole bunch of extra stuff, tons of galleries, three different commentaries. It's the only one with uh, a commentary offered. They also each have an isolated score track. Uh, we're going to go to the middle here. I'm going to give you a nice shot of each disc. The original there, over to Beneath, over to Escape all the way over to Conquest, and then Battle, which we'd all like to forget, I'm thinking. Anyway, back to the discs. Each disc is given a gel-like stand. I really don't know how to describe this. It sort of feels like the glue that you get in, like sometimes on a magazine cover. It kind of feels like that. Um, it's a, it's, it's rubbery-ish. Uh, it's the stupidest, most god-awful case design I have ever come across. Um, I know there are some that stack discs and do various other things. This is really bad. These don't come off. Uh, not only are they completely flush with the cardboard, so you really can't get underneath them for fear of scratching, you can't just push down and pop it either. Um, you literally need to really dig. you got to at least have some kind of nail and pull up and uh, carefully. Um, as you can see, this is bending quite a bit, and uh, it's it's not coming off. Oh. Right, there we go. On um, the back of it, you get the number of the film, one, two, three, of course, and so on. You can figure out the rest. Um, getting them back on is even more complicated. you got to kind of put them on. you kind of got to line it. And I'm at an angle here behind the camera, and I really can't see if it's on there or not. I think it is, though. And you can't just push it because you'll crack this inner plastic. you kind of got to screw it on. you got to put a decent little chunk of force onto it. There we go. And then it sits. And, A, I can't imagine these are going to last too long. Um... You know, a couple of years they're going to degrade or something. I, I can't imagine they're very uh, <coughs> environmentally friendly. I, I, there's some kind of chemical. Uh, and, and they're not good for the discs. I mean, you got to pull them and bend them and basically scratch them to get them off of this thing. Um, and as you can see, I'm going to try to get a nice shot. You can see, I mean, they don't stick out at all. There's, there's nothing there. They are uh, totally flush with these cases. So I, I don't know who came up with this design. It's a very nice folding case. I mean, all of that's really nice. The book obviously isn't there. Normally the book would be there. Um, it, it looks great, but it's absolutely atrociously designed. Uh, box set retails. Uh, Amazon, last time I checked just before this review, has it at $90. Um, used, of course, it goes for cheaper. This was purchased on sale, which it does go on sale. It's been on sale a couple times now for uh, sub-50 bucks, and that's not a bad deal for five movies. Certainly cheaper than you can buy all five individually, and of course, you get book again not great if you own planet of the apes revisited but hey it is a nice bonus as far as the transfers go for those wondering um they are highly mixed uh beneath is probably the best of the group but certainly not by much uh it is just a tad better uh the grain structure in the original planet of the apes seems to be uh a bit smoothed out in certain scenes. It's not consistently so. The opening shots, especially after they crash land, look great. Um, you can read the full reviews uh, on dublue.com. Shameless plug. <coughs> and uh, we review each movie individually. Uh, they do not get capsulized reviews. We look at each film individually, watch them all the way through, give them each their own due as they deserve. Um, so check out all the reviews. There will be some links over on that side somewhere. Uh, I will try to throw links for each movie, or maybe a link to our Planet of the Apes tag, and you can check it out from there. Um, leave us some feedback. Let us know what you think. Did you buy the set? Do you agree with us? Do you not agree with us? Um, and check out dublue.com and let us know.